He's not, he's not going to win over any girls with no. this. There's always going to be something going wrong. She looks a wee bit distressed. Just like that. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's your name. Sheep's the game. First job of the day again is doing these outside use. Bag onto the shoulder. Obviously I've got, hang on, I'll switch my head torch off so it doesn't blind you all. Step over the gate without slipping and damaging the, the crown jewels. Oh, Gotta be careful actually. Um, Claiming a gate, carrying a bag, you can twist your back, it's quite dangerous. Especially first thing in the morning when you're not warmed up. Okay, what do we see when we first walk in the field today? We see our beautiful, beautiful mule ewes. Absolutely love these guys. Let's dump this here. I'm just gonna, oh, oh, there's a hole there, that was close. I'm just gonna walk over here and put this camera down and then I'll feed towards it just a bit of cinematography you know oh guy that's a beautiful morning unbelievable oh good thing the ground's hard but this I just run it all out I don't put it in wee piles the use can work away at it usually These are the kind of days you'd be you'd be glad of your, your quad bike heated handlebars, I tell you. Right, girls, what's happening here? A oh, YouTuber born yesterday. You've just come up to the hedge for a bit of shelter, have you? Right, wee bit of feed here. Hi, Mum, come on. Wee bite of feed. Wee bite of feed, don't run away. Isn't that amazing as well? Like that's not always the case, obviously. But uh, you know these mule ewes would have been mad for the feeding two days ago, but now they've lambed. Anyone near us just runs off, protect the lambs, and she's not worried about the cake. Even that one there, just put it right in front of her. Those lambs are absolute nailers, man. Beautiful. Just put it right in front of her, and she's still not bothering about it. Impressive. Okay, don't see any problems here, but I'm driving around that bottom end of the field. We'll get a look, as always. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. I haven't even had my breakfast yet. I was going to say, as always, thanks to Crystal X for supporting the, the channel through my lambing season. I don't know why the ewes love that so much, but they do. <laughs> oh, I've got a latte in the car that will wash that away, hopefully. That is shocking. So close. Aye. So Great wee mother just... Aye. It's, comi Aye. it's coming over, over the threshold of that gateway. Right, see this here. Oh, yeah. She marked as a triplet? Yeah. That's okay then. Aye, aye. She had two sucking and she was licking the other one, so she obviously loved them all. Aye. They're massive. Yeah. That's what I thought. And I also <laughs> couldn't remember the colours. Uh, eh, well... Uh, neither could I, that's why there's different colours for triplets. Some are green and some are orange, depending on where they are. I thought it was green. The, the singles are always blue. Always blue. Uh, right. Yep, yep. Come on. That's probably, probably. My favourite unit, we call the mother and lambs a unit there. Probably my favourite unit of the lambing so far. Because those lambs, that, that, this is a, a homebred gimmer, this is off my cheviots. So this is a cheviot meal, so her father was a blue faced Lester. Sorry, I need to feed these sheep, they're going to be really loud until I do. But look at, look at those lambs. Absolute crackers. Well done lass, and a great wee mother. That 
is what it's all about. That is just an absolute buzz. In fact, to be fair, touching wood, everything has been going far, far too well so far. Far too well. You know, quite often you got a lot of problems at the start, but the use waited till their time, more or less, bar a couple of triplets. I mean, last year, for, to put it in perspective, last year the first 10 sheep that land were all gimmers and had dead lambs. So that, that shows you how much better this year is to last year. Mum here, this is a triplet. I was explaining to, to Tom there. Um, it's great, Tom and Vicky are absolute legends. They check the shed at night for me and first thing in the morning. Now, I was explaining to him that uh, my sheep were in different lots. I couldn't remember what colour I had done the triplets. So some of them are green and some of them are orange. But the easy way to remember is all the singles are blue. So if it's not blue, it's a triplet. And if it's no mark, it's a twin. It's not that hard, it, you know, it's fine. But as I said, he wasn't sure what the orange was. Okay, so we are back from breakfast. See, whenever I start speaking, the sheep must know my voice and get excited because they'll start shouting. They were so quiet before I did that. So Murray is getting some rings ready. Do you know uh, Murray? Do you know who owns uh, Illustrator? Illustrator. Yeah. How would you say that? There. Aye, or, or that. Aye, how would you say that word? Illustrator. 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 Aye. Aye, right. Illustrator. Do you know who owns Illustrator? Heiniger said it there. Did you know that before? I've seen it just now. Ah, yeah. Right. I'll pay I put it on Instagram. Right, okay. The boy's been doing his homework. Credit where it credits due. So let me just do my wee interview thing here. Uh, are these sheep going to be dead loud? Uh, everyone, I'm speaking to Murray now. That's enough. Right. Um, so, Murray, you're, uh, what age are you? Uh, 17. Have you got a driving license yet? No. Why not? Uh, failed my theory test and then I've had it cancelled three times because of Covid. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so, right. Field, field is theory. That's an awkward one. I didn't actually. Nah, I, I remember you told me now, but I wish I hadn't put that on the camera. But it's on now, so. As it is, these things happen, though. Yeah, you're, you're, to be fair, he's very clever, though. You know, did you not do quite well at school? I did no too bad, I. All oh, right, I. I mean, he can. Um, he's got a wee party trick. Actually, can you do? Oh no, hang, that's hang not, come that's up not here a bit. party trick. That's, come on, come on. That is no party trick. Come away for the noise to to see you. Oh. Let's talk outside. It's not a very good claim to fame, this, is it? No, it's not a great party trick. I mean, it's, it's a bit. No, it's just a hang that I could do that I learned because I was. He's a not. Wee he's not going to win over any girls with no, this. I'm, I'm, um, but I'm, you know, just I'm, do it anyway, Murray. Do it anyway. What the heck? Oh, he ah. can do the alphabet backwards. I do it. Aye. Why it's LPP, UTS, RQB, own M, LPG, IH, FED, CBA. I'll just take his word for it. That was right because it was that fast. I could barely hear it. But yeah, so Murray, hang on, hang on, I need to ask you another couple of questions. He's what to be done here. He's what, it sounds like Lizzy. Uh, so he's 17, obviously he's, uh, Covid is not great for getting lessons and getting your licence, which is, you don't think about these things, these young uh, adults that are missing out on all these things, you know, people turning 18 and can't get to the pub and things like that, but you're 17, what's your farming experience? Um, I've worked with James since I was, oh, since I was a height of nonsense, Aye. and um, well, I'm at college two days a week, so I work with James every other day in a, a beef and sheep farm down in, just down below here, two or three different bits, run about 900 yows and 190 breeding cattle and we carve and carry the calves through to fattening, so I've just about 350 beasts all in in total and still got in, well, still got quite a few fat arms left to go, so I shoot up, stock number are quite high anyway, but we struggle, are we? We manage. That was actually quite an in-depth answer there. I was expecting him just to say, oh, do a bit of work with Uncle James. No, that was good, so we got a rundown on what James is up to. James, for those of you that have been with the channel a lot, he is the, the person that I learned to shear with, uh, or I certainly worked with from when I first started shearing. He gave me a chance and let me shear with him, and obviously that's made the massive difference in me actually becoming a shearer. And Murray's doing the same now. He, he, there was an interview with Murray in a previous video. He's just starting. Suffered like hell last summer. He's obviously very excited for the season coming ahead. He got booked on a course with Robbie Hislop. Yep. He's got a course with Robbie Hislop, Shearing School, on YouTube. If you're looking, I'll bet that course as well, I think. Is it the beginner? No, it's the middle one you're I'm at. An intermediate one. I right. might not be at that course, but that'll be a good course. Robbie's great to learn from. So he's keen. He's doing the right things. If you want to be a good shearer, you have to do a course. Certainly at his stage, you have to do a course every year, at least for the first, oh, I'd say easy for the first five years. 
at least you should be looking to do a course every year. And Murray's got that right attitude and he's got the benefit he works with, with James Andrew, so he's learning from a, a pro every day working with him. So that's kind of Murray's kind of backstory. He's going down that route and obviously farming is a big factor as well. Although I'm probably going to keep pushing him towards the route of be a professional shearer, go make a fortune and then just start farming yeah, himself. Depends on the sheep and wine go, depends what it, way Well, I'll tell you, that, that's how good. 17 year old, how much did you make last summer? In fact, when did you turn 17? Uh, last July. Yeah, last July, so you'll be 18 this year? 18 in July. Some buzz, mate, some buzz. Can't yeah, even get a pint. On the open. I know. Anyways, 18 uh, this July. So 17 year old last year, how much did you make from your first season shearing? Yeah, I get, well, I caught 4,200 sheep, so I got about 4,000 pounds. Right, so he made about four grand the time he takes his gear off that. So four grand at 17 year old. He went and spent it, most of it in sheep. Right guys, <laughs> calm down with that coffin. That's that dry hay. Uh, he went and spent most of it on sheep, but a good investment this year, although he's spent a fortune. <laughs> 110 pound. Somebody, somebody tell me I spent that in black, his last year I would have done 110 pound for inland blackies to a singles. Yeah, well, 140% anyway. 140 per, so 140% have, blackies. Blackie scanning. What age? Uh, oh, just a max between three crops and a max three crops, four crops mainly, so. Three crop, four crop blackies, 140%, <laughs> £110 per head. Wild. Imagine what these girls must be worth. Makes me think. Okay, so I'm now going to put them in this field, which then leads into the bigger field at the back. So a couple of days in here to make sure they're all mothered up and happy, and then we'll push them through to that field at the back. We have problems with dog walkers and stuff in this field up the back here. But if I keep them in this field a couple of days and make sure they're up, sucked, and staying with mum, we'll just need to take our chances in the field over there. Touch wood, we haven't had, a, well, we had an incident last year with a, a spaniel worrying the sheep but we didn't have any losses did have some aborted lambs but that was pre-lambing so we had some aborted lambs but no actual dead sheep so it's not ideal that field but we're going to use it because it's green and there's no dung on it real shapey thing she's a good mum right lie down meg i'll just walk her away quietly so she's out the road of these singles go on lass Got a gimmer here and a, a two crop yow. Oh, she's a one crop yow, no, is she? No, she's a two crop yow. Oh, oh that wee black leg missed its step. So that's the gimmer. Great wee bag of milk there, yeah, she's fine. There's a more experienced Joe here. There's the lamp. Oh, there it is. Good. Can you hear him suckling away there? In it, Mum. Good, strong lamb. She's produced. Lie down, lie down. Sorry. Eh, uh, Meg. Eh, uh, the sheep, the sheep fans. Listen, I'm, Meg, I'm speaking to you. Um, the sheep fans are just wondering uh, what I feed you because you have such a, a glowing coat on you. Are, are you listening to me or are you, are you watching the sheep? Megan, Megan, I'm talking to you. Hey, she always does this. Embarrass me, embarrass me in the camera. Right, what are we getting up? Lie down, lie down, lie down, lie down. <laughs> Stand up, Stand up. Up. <laughs> right, good, that's enough playing about. Now Meg, uh, look, let me see you. Why, why is your coat so good? Eh? Are you well looked after? Yes. You don't even know, but everybody loves you on YouTube. You know that? You're a big star, and you don't even know. Well, you know, because I tell you every day. Right, no, no chasing, that's it. So this is what happens when things are going too well. There's always gonna be something going wrong. It always happens at lambing time, so. This little gimmer here, 
has just spat out this lamb here, which has been dead for a little while. A few days though, because you can see how well formed it is. There have been two cracking lambs, but this one's just come out. It's been dead for maybe a couple of days. And more than likely that's probably happened because the navel here, the umbilical cord has snapped and the lamb's died inside her. And she's passed it herself, no bother there. And the other lamb's an absolute cracker. They'd have been two great twins. But there's every chance, I'm not saying this is what caused it, but every chance that's an example of, you know, I've been in the shed here in this environment, she's maybe just got a bash or something, and she's and this lamb's become detached and died. These things, they happen. We've been having it, you know, so good so far. So it's still a cracking lamb there with that gimmer. It's not a total loss. I'm quite happy if the gimmers just have won. Uh, I'm just wondering about that one at the hedge. Something worth having a look at, a sheep lying in the hedge. So we can see from this distance, this sheep, this sheep here started lambing. A bit of discoloration there, some yellow curling, it doesn't look great. She looks a wee bit distressed. The trick is just to get a hold of her pretty quick before she can actually go anywhere, so you want to just get in pretty fast. That's fine, that's fine. At last, calm down. Calm down. No, just turn around a wee bit, you're alright, you're big of the belly, I know. So, we'll just get this round here. You hold her here for a second, Murray, to position this. Oh, beautiful lighting as well. My microphone's about to go, so... I don't see anything to concern me here, but I think she's maybe been at it a little while. She seemed a wee bit uncomfortable. The lamb's easy to pull out, so we'll just give her a wee hand. Steady lass, I know. And it's a beautiful lamb. Born on a beautiful night. So, yeah, we can see that lamb there now. What a beautiful way to be working out in a night like this, doing a job like this. So we'll just pop the other one out while we're here. I don't want to go away and leave her for fear she does have any other issues. <laughs> it's all right, lass. Another one's right here. She's obviously been pushing a wee while, I think. The next one's right here, ready to slip out. So we'll bring it out quite easily. Just like that. And I've no doubt with the lamb being presented the way it was that she would have... She'd have popped it out quite easily herself. Well, I say quite easily. She'd have popped out eventually. These yows are good at that, but we we're passing anyway, and we don't. This will be the last check of the night, so heaps of milk. Good yow. Empty belly. Scanner man got it right. I'll pop this round the front. Just like that. And these kind mules, it's very easy just to let her go, and she'll not go far. Just give mum a hand up because she I can see she's a kind jow, she's a two crop. There you go, mum. <laughs> Look at this for an evening though. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> just in the grass looks amazing and this is a uh, I think Lizzie named it Sophie I need to get you shown I'll do something with you Sophie see you tomorrow come on <laughs> to be fair the good thing is I'm checked four times a day so she's not been there very long but that's not the point it's still not very good for her she's just absolutely massive She's a twin as well, so most of it will be fluid, which is common, it does happen. Just need to keep an eye on them. But look, I don't know, can you guys see? The grass is growing. It's exciting. Everything's exciting just now. That's the end of this vlog, guys. We're going to see you for the next one. Okay, so this is the spot where I uh, embarrassed myself the other day, so I'm just going to redeem myself here. It's because of the big heavy wellies and I just, I don't know what happened, my leggings restricted my stride. I can basically step across that. I don't know what happened. It's so much, uh, it's the wellies that dragged me down last time. Can you do it? The wellies? 
Where we're, oh, can you jump across? Because we're going back up here. A lot wider when you get down here, isn't it? Oh, look at the panic. Come on. Hey, good man. Right, grab the camera now. Uh, language. What? Right, that's fine. You're learning. I'm making you a better person by putting you on TV. Yeah. 